Hi everyone. I'm going to wait a second for people to join because it's right at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central. But welcome to the first episode of Coffee with Justine. And I do have my mug of coffee. Uh, today I am uh, drinking Pete's Major Dixon's Dark Roast. So, uh, you know, 3 p.m. caffeine rush, gotta have one. Oh, looks like people are joining. Thanks everyone for uh, joining. Oh, so Stay Golden Girl said she, she loved my outfit. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, we're getting to the holiday spirit here at Ingram Spark, so I wanna wish everyone a happy holidays, uh, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, Merry Quis Christmas, Mela Kalikimaka, so you know, uh, we're, we're all, uh, excited to hear that it is the festive holiday season. Even the first snowflakes have started to fall here in New Jersey because we're going to get a blizzard. Very exciting. So this is going to be a monthly series where I answer your most frequently asked questions all while sipping a lovely mug of coffee. Also, there'll, there will always be a mug that we raffle away. And uh, today's is um, a lovely Buddy the Elf mug, um, just from the waist down. Um, but, so some festive uh, coffee cheer or tea, if you're a teetotaler, in your future. Um, so you have to stay tuned because we will be giving this away at the end of the show. Unfortunately, this contest is only open to US residents, no international, really sorry our international viewers. Um, but for all of you US residents, uh, please stay tuned until the end for a chance to win this mug. All right, so uh, the first most frequently asked question here at Ingram Spark is shockingly, what is Ingram Spark? I know, it is, it is a big one. So essentially, uh, Ingram is the largest book distributor in the world. If you've bought a book, uh, nine times out of 10, it's probably gone through our hands, which is pretty cool. Um, I just ordered books for Christmas that actually uh, came through us. So that's pretty awesome, um, mainly because I recognized the address that they were shipping from, which is also a little sad. However, yeah, Ingram is the largest book distributor in the world, and Ingram Spark is our DIY self-publishing platform that started about seven years ago. So we've been around for a little bit of time, but still new in the publishing industry. And what Ingram Spark allows you to do is to set up your print and your ebook at the same time for print and distribution. And everything is print on demand, which is really great. You don't have to worry about inventory or stocking books. If an order comes in, we print it and ship it to wherever it needs to go. And we also distribute to over 39,000 print distribution partners and over 25 ebook partners. So uh, our, we have really broad distribution and that also includes globally. So we have a print facility in the UK, one in Australia, and then we have print partners all over the globe. So we are a global company and we can get your books around the world. And so we distribute to everyone like Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble, Target.com, Bookshop.org, independent bookstores, libraries, you name it, we distribute there. So we are a one-stop shop for all of your publishing and our print and distribution needs. So uh, it is a great platform. So if you're not familiar with us and you're just here checking us out, uh, I suggest that you go to IngramSpark.com to learn more. So the next question we get asked most often is how does it work? Elves, no, joking. Magic, no, joking. Um, actually, just a lot of very dedicated people down in uh, Tennessee and one here in New Jersey. And uh, it, so the way that it works is that you have to upload your book to our dashboard. 
So first you have to make an account at ingramspark.com and then you can upload your book to our dashboard. Um, and that includes all of the information about your book, which we call metadata, as well as your print files. And then you have to set a list price for your book, as well as a discount that you are going to offer retailers. This is called a wholesale discount. And then we take the wholesale discount and the cost to print your book out of your list price and rewrite you a check for the rest every time a book is sold. And we pay you on a rolling 90 days. So that is how you sell books and get paid for them. And if you needed books for say an event or for her gifts or what have you, you can also order books through your Ingram Spark account and we can ship them to wherever they need to go. Um, so it is a one-stop shop for your distribution needs as well as your own personal printing needs as well. So you're probably thinking to yourself, uh, what do I need to get started? Which is a really, really great question. And the first thing you need is a finished book. And I always joke that that is the first thing you need, but it's actually really, really true. So for those of you who are still writing out there, um, please keep on writing. You're doing a great job. You're doing the hard work of sitting your butt in the seat and actually writing. And so keep going. Uh, we did a one of these with Grant Faulkner from NaNoWriMo and uh, it is posted on our Instagram page. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you check it out because if you're experiencing some writer's block, I'm sure that uh, it, it will help shake things up a little bit. But once you have finished your book, uh, the next thing that you need to do is make sure that it is edited <laughs> and um, by a professional editor, not your mom. Although we love all the moms out there, you're, you're really amazing. But then the next thing you do have to do after that is have print ready files. So a lot of times people like to, you know, hire their own designers um, for their cover designer and their interior designer. There are a lot of great places online that you can search for these designers. We have a list of experts at ingramspark.com and that you can check out to see where all of these, uh, these designers live uh, on the internet, of course. And so that is a great place to look. But then also we have this new tool that is really awesome called the Ingram Spark book building tool. And so you can actually make your own files in Ingram Spark now, which is really awesome. So you can make your cover, you can upload your Word document and format your entire interior. So if that's a route you want to go, I highly suggest going into your Ingram Spark account and checking it out. So uh, the way that you would do that is when you're setting up a title. Um, it's going to ask you if you have print files, you would select no, and the decision tree will take you to our book building tool. So that's a fun new one. Uh, then the next thing you need is an ISBN. I really, really suggest guys that you go out and buy your own ISBN. You can buy them from Bowker. That's the only place you can buy them, B-O-W-K-E-R. Um, and so uh, that is the, the one place in the US that you can get them. If you're Canadian, you get them for free. La you got Canada, you guys get it so good. And then uh, in the UK, you also get them um, from, from, I think Nielsen's. Oh, don't quote me on that one. But so you need your own ISBN so that you can have uh, an identifier for your book. We also offer free ISBNs, which, you know, if you're on a budget is a great way to go. But we also don't suggest doing this because then if you, you know, also wanted to upload your book to KDP or some or vice versa, like you can't take the ISBN out of the Ingram ecosystem. So um, it's always good to have your own ISBNs. Um, that is my suggestion. 
But like I said, if you are uh, on a budget and wanting to publish, we do have them available for free now. Um, Dr. Lexa is saying that get them in bulk in America. Yes, that is a great suggestion. Um, it makes them cheaper. So <laughs> if you buy 10, it makes them far cheaper than buying one at a time. And so if you're doing uh, three formats of your book, ebook, hardcover, and paperback, you're going to need three different ISBNs. So actually getting a 10 pack is always a good way to go if you're planning on doing multiple, multiple books in multiple formats. So great suggestion. Thank you for reminding me of that. And the last thing that you need is a plan. <laughs> Dr. Lex is saying, save them coins, y'all. Yes, agreed. <laughs> uh, so the last thing you guys need is a plan. And that includes a plan for your metadata, which is just a fancy word for all the information about your book. And so that includes your book description, your author bio, keywords, which are really important for all those folks buying online these days, and also things like subject codes as well. So uh, all of that information, we have a ton of it at ingramspark.com about all of those topics uh, in our academy, at our blog. Um, also, we talk about it all the time in the podcast, so please go check out those resources if you uh, ever need help with any of that. Uh, another thing that you need a plan for is when you're going to publish your book, uh, which is always really important. Are you going to publish right away? Or are you going to do a pre-sale? If you are going to do a pre-sale, make sure that both your pub date and your on-sale date are the same date. We have those two different dates. Make sure that you put in the same date for both. So uh, that is a little t piece of advice for all of you out there. Um, and that just allows you time to have a pre-sale, uh, get some buzz around your book, and uh, really start marketing, which is the third part that you need to plan for. So uh, having a marketing plan is always a good thing. It doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. Uh, it can be as easy as talking to book clubs, going to libraries, and talking to librarians about your book. Um, and some people want to advertise on social media. Um, so planning all of that ahead is always really important. Again, we have great resources at IngramSpark.com to help you with all of this. So. That is what you need to get started with Ingram Spark. Um, it is a very quick overview of everything that you need, but again, we have tons of resources, resources for you online. Um, so I am going to open it up for some questions from all of you out there. So please comment with any questions you would like me to answer. Uh, I think that one was asked earlier in the in in the chat. Um, we less sorry, I'm gonna butcher this. Les Pusis Ltd says we've published 25 books through you and have just helped someone else create their book. How do we get on your list? I uh, I'm not sure which list you're referring to. If you DM us. We can absolutely help you. Um, any questions? No? All right. So if you guys, so think of some questions that you want me to ask, or want to ask me, <laughs> want me to ask. Oh, here we go. Which dates need to be the same date? When were you talking, when you were talking about pre-sale? Uh, Love in my belly said. Thank you for the question. So we do ask you for two dates setting up your book. There is a pub date and an on sale date. Um, the pub date, they need to be the same date. Uh, essentially, the pub date is the date that your book goes on sale. The on sale date is also <laughs> the day your book goes on sale, but internally, it tells our systems to start printing your book. 
Um, so 10 business days before that on sale date, we will start printing and shipping any pre-orders that have accumulated. So if you need to do any revisions to your files, please make sure they are done well before 10 business days before your on sale date. So there's another tip for you. Um, so we also have some more questions. Miguel Soto 0846 says, where can readers in Costa Rica get Costa Rica get a book from Ingram? So um, retailers uh, all over the world um, carry our books. So I would say Amazon is the first place to check. Um, I am not terribly familiar with very local uh, retailers in Costa Rica, but Amazon's always a safe bet. Um, oh, Ingram Spark Page, uh, aka my boss, uh, says that the expert lists is also a place. So there you go. Thank you, Paige. Uh, Dr. Lexa says, is the formatting for a hardcover different than the formatting for a soft cover, or can I upload the same documents? That is also a fabulous question. So the interiors are typically the same, except for one key thing, and that is the ISBN on your copyright page. So that is the only thing different about the interiors, typically, if they are the same size book. And by size, I mean the actual trim size of the book. I'm looking for a book on my desk. I don't have one for the first time ever. Um, a trim size is the actual size. So if it's eight by a uh, five by eight or six by nine. Um, however, the cover files will be different. So because if you are doing a jacket on your hardcover, the jacket has flaps, and so those flaps need to be designed. Um, so that jacket layout will be very different from your paperback layout. So we have a file creation guide uh, at ingramspark.com that uh, you can check out for all those specifications for your book. Uh, so definitely check that out and it will help you uh, format all of your files. All right. Um, MNS Creative says, I have published 13 books with you. Wow, good job, woo. Is there any easy report to get how many books I have bought from you wholesale? Oh, so like how many were sold through wholesale? Yes, um, if you log into your Ingram Spark account on the left hand side of the screen, you will see a uh, see a, a tab that says reports. If you click on that, uh, one of the reports is called your print sales report. Uh, you can set a time frame for that report and you can also set where you want or what part of the world do you want that report for? So how many sales do you have in the US? How many in the UK, Australia? Through our Global Connect partners. And then you can have that report emailed to you. You reporting for books that were sold through our wholesale channels. So I hope that helps. Um, Let's see. Uh, Megia and Max. Oh, I butchered that. I am sorry. What are the chances for self-published authors to end up on a BNN shelf? That is a great question. So BNN has recently changed how they uh, bring books into stores. Uh, store managers have a lot more power than they did before. And so uh, it is... It is absolutely possible that self-published books end up on BNN shelves. Um, so I suggest uh, becoming friends with your local store Barnes & Noble manager. Uh, <laughs> that's the first step. The second step is that you have to make sure that your book has a full trade discount. That means that in our system, it is either a 55 or 53 to 55% wholesale discount and that it is returnable. Um, BNN has strict rules that they are not allowed to bring a book in store unless it has those terms. 
The other things that they look for about bringing books in store is that the name of the book is on the spine and that the price of the book is embedded in the barcode. If you use our cover template generator, then the you can choose to have the price embedded in the barcode. You can find our cover template generator uh, on our website at ingramspark.com. So that can help you uh, accomplish that. So those are the things that they are looking for in order to actually bring a book into the store. Um, you can also uh, apply to their small press department as well. And those instructions are on their website. Uh, so definitely check those out if you're interested. Um, Moon River 2002 says, I've been having trouble in the account setup. At one point, where all the agreements are, it does ask for a title. Does that mean title of the book? Uh, no, it means your title. So we recently uh, sent all of you a, a notice saying that there's a new agreement to sign. And so if you haven't done so already, please log into your account and sign that new agreement. Um, so that uh, agreement page asks you for your title. So for your publishing company, are you the uh, president? Are you the CEO? Are you the proprietor? Um, that's what title means um, for that agreement. If you have any questions, please, uh, reach out to us and we will try to help you. Our customer service is a bit underwater right now and I, I really apologize for that, but we will try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Lesher Life says, what's the best style of book to aim for when printing a journal slash diary type? Usually a paperback. Um, and usually journals, diaries are seven by nine trim size. That's what's typical. But a good place to start is to go online or to your local bookstore and to look at similar books and to see how those are formatted. It's always good to see how other people are formatting those books to make sure that they are uh, in line with what the market is doing. So that is my suggestion there. All right, I think we have time for one or two more questions. Uh, Leona Archer Books, oh, Lion and Archer Books <laughs> says, the interiors for my paperback and hardcover printed differently. Oh no, I'm very sorry about that. Please reach out to our uh, customer service. You can actually file a um, file a form online that says that there was a, a print um, a print error with your books and we can take a look at that and replace that for you. So you can find that at ingramspark.com. Love in my belly says, do you have a network of editors that we can work with? Ingramspark also good for publishing cookbooks. So yes, on our experts page that I mentioned, oh, I just spilled coffee everywhere because I'm talking with my hands. On our experts page that I mentioned earlier um, at ingramspark.com, one, uh, one of the sections is for editors. And so we list editors that we have vetted and trust in that section. So for that, please go check it out. Um, and for cookbooks, we absolutely do cookbooks. We have color printing in hardcover as well as paperback and we do both standard and premium color. So uh, we can absolutely do cookbooks for you. Uh, let's see. We have a few more minutes. What's Ingram's turnaround time from upload and approval to delivery of a copy of a book to an author? That is a great question. So once you finish uploading your book, there is a team of people down in Tennessee called our pre-media team that check everyone's files to make sure that they can be printed well. Um, it usually takes them one to two days to check your files to make sure that they are to our specifications and good to go. Uh, once they have checked your files, you will get an e-proof and then you can inspect the e-proof. At that time, you can approve the e-proof um, and then print yourself a proof copy. 
once you've approved, once you print yourself a proof copy, it depends on uh, what time of the year it is and what our and what service level you choose. Right now, our print turnaround times are a little longer than usual because it is Christmas time and also because of COVID. So for paperbacks, our print turnaround times are roughly 10 business days and for hardcovers, they're about 30 business days. This does not apply to retail orders, just so you all know. This is just for books that you order for your personal use. Um, so, but in normal times, that's usually a lot less. So uh, for our regular service is typically three to five business days. So, and then whatever shipping you choose. All right, uh, MNS Creative said, I mean, the books that I have bought and sold, I buy several hundred a month, not a report from retailers. Oh, so you just want to know, have a, uh, a track record of the number of books you've sold. You can also find that in the reports tab. Um, that would come under your invoices and it will show you all of the orders you've placed and how many books you have, um, uh, how, how many books that were printed in each of those orders. And this is gonna be my last question. Uh, Lion and Archer book says, is there no way to not be charged the upload fee every time a file needs to be updated because the print didn't match the e-proof file? So, the, um, so in order to not be charged the revision while you're still in that process is to not approve the e-proof. If you see something incorrect with that e-proof, do not approve it and you can upload new files for free. Um, we also have a promo code running right now. It is in our link in bio on our, on our Instagram page. Uh, it is, uh, I believe it is, hold on, I have to look at my notes, free 2020, all capitals, free 2020, no space. Um, and that will give you free title setup through the end of the year. Um, so that is the, uh, so that is the, uh, all of the information that you need to know for free title setup. All right, guys, so now it is time to raffle away this really great elf mug. And so the way that we're going to do that today is I am going to ask you all a, uh, a trivia question to test your knowledge, not only about publishing, but also about 2020. And I... Uh, Whoever is the first person to comment with the correct answer in our comment section uh, after I say go, so not, not until I'm done finished reading the question, um, will win this mug. And we will DM you um, to get your address so we know where to ship it. Um, and I promise it has not been used and is very clean. So, uh, so here we go. So. Again, do not start commenting until I'm done reading the question. All right. What was the number one selling book of 2020? Please give me the title and the author. Go. Let's see. All right, everyone. I'm seeing no answers yet. Everyone must be typing. I'm gonna take a sip of my own coffee. My husband commented Harry Potter. Thanks, dear. <laughs> He's downstairs. Actually, Harry Potter is the best-selling book of all time other than the Bible. That's a fun fact. All right, I'm not seeing the answer yet. All right, I, I'm being asked to repeat the question. What was the number one selling book of 2020? Please give me the author and the title. Ding, ding, ding. 
We have a winner. Ms. Star is our winner. It was a promised land by Barack Obama. So 1.6 million copies have been sold so far in the U.S. this year. And the book only came out a few weeks ago. So there you have it. 1.6 million copies A promised land Barack Obama. And uh, Ms. Star is the recipient of our really cool elf mug. So we'll be DMing you uh, for your address so that we can ship that to you. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Coffee with Justine. I know I have. This has been really great. Uh, if you missed any part of this live, we are going to be uploading it to our Instagram account so that you can go back and, uh, and you know, find out what you missed. Uh, if you have questions that you uh, want answered through this, uh, again, please DM us. You can also follow me on my social accounts. My Instagram is Ingram Spark Justine, and my Twitter is just Spark Justine. Uh, so uh, Ingram Spark Justine at Instagram and Spark Justine at Twitter. And also, I will say it again, we have a promo code for free title setup running through the end of the year. It is free 2020. You can find that in our bio. Uh, so I think that is it, guys. If I don't talk to you till the new year, uh, have a really wonderful holiday season. Please all get some rest and relaxation. And here we come 2021. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.